Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat, and this is Portal Knights. I figured out how to untarget and target. It was simple. It was the right mouse button. And apparently, when you're locked onto a target, let's see if I can lock onto that parrot. No, it's too far. Just like in the console edition, if you lock on, then you hold or uh, push the space button while going in a direction, you dodge. Or you can use the shift key. It's probably easier just to use the uh, space bar. Why can't I not stay in a first person mode when I'm shooting? I find that really weird. But hey, uh, welcome back by the way. It's I think I've already said that. Derpity derp. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and probably fix the portal. Don't know if I'll be leaving the Squires and all in this episode. We still gotta build the house. So we have a safe place to live. Oh, I got a present. The developer send me a present in the mailbox. Special delivery, bumblebee head. Alright. We got ourselves a bumblebee head. Should I wear this? That <laughs> is a vanity. <laughs> there we go. Mr. Bumblebee. Alright. Yeah, if I sound a little off today tonight, it's because I uh, I have caught a cold. I do believe. No. Why would you do that? Quest complete. Well, it's not quite complete, dude. I mean, does this look complete to you? I mean, no. What are you talking about? What? Well, quit pushing E. Jeez. I'll never seem to get over that. Halfway through the gameplay, I'll be finally not pushing E for everything. Alright, yeah, it takes a lot of wheat to make this kind of ceiling. Or roof. Alright, oh, so I need to build myself. Let's see here. Building. That's portal stuff. Workbench. Drafting table. This is for making furniture and blocks and whatnot. Archer station allows you to build bows and whatnot, and I do need that one. Alchemy table allows you to build potions and bombs. I do it's bombs. I think it's bombs. Anvil allows you to craft metal armor and weapons. Chest for storage. Furnace to, to smelt nuggets into ingots or bars. Altar allows you to make magics. Ward of Protection allows you to make a stone that you can put around your house. Like if I put a Ward of Protection right here, which is kind of big. It's more by by uh, maybe a 3x3 three three block. But it causes the entire area around your house to not have enemy spawns. Alright. Well, it looks like I don't have enough of materials to make any of this. I need copper for pretty much all this. Except for the furnace. I got all this. Why can't I not build this? Workbench. Isn't that where I'm at? Weird. This, uh, the temple blocks. You could, uh, destroy, the, like, a little ruin or a dungeon. And you'll find these blocks. But I should be able to build this. Is this not a workbench? Do I have a a, uh, a problem here? <clears throat> it didn't say refined wood, so... Oh, there it is. It finally popped up. It didn't, it, it didn't know what it was doing. Pick it up. Alright. The controls... Uh, it's going to take me a bit to get used to these controls. They're a bit off. Because E, in most games that you, know, you play on the computer, E is usually the button that you interact with stuff. Talk to characters, whatnot. 
rotate, rotate, and rotate. Yeah, I can only put it right there. Bam. Done. I need to build me a window. This thatch, which is kind of expensive. If you look at the crafting table, or the crafting window here, see it's thatch right here, straw block, which is basically what the roof is made of. Cost wheat. Why cause this thing says I'm not at a workbench? There we go. I might not, I might save up my wheat for that. Just to be safe. Okay, let's see here. Alright, so what's it cost, uh, copper for that? Okay. I don't even have any metals whatsoever, but let's see if we can complete that portal so it's ready. But I gotta be ready because the portal, after, after you complete the portal, you're gonna have new enemies spawn in your area. So, I got blue. Cost two each stone. And I need how many? Four? Maybe even five. Now, where are you? Back there. Ah, my bushes grew. I kind of wanted to leave this place a little higher level. No, not the seed. Oh. Don't want to destroy the seed. I keep pushing I for inventory. This is what I'm talking about. It's going to take me a while to get used to this game. Everything seems backwards. Alright, let's put one here. Want to keep everything straight. No, I got stuck on her. Hey, you. Talk to me. This is something you could do if you if you find NPCs like this in the way. You could always do come along. They'll become an item in your, in your inventory. And I could just place it right here next to her husband. Hope those slimes don't come after me. But yeah, you can pick up all or most NPCs as a character and then you just place them back down. Yeah, that's a handy tip for everybody. I did I, on the PS4. I couldn't figure out how to get her out of the way so I could have all this open. And then it had like come along in there, and I was like, "Does that mean they follow me like an NPC or whatever?" No, they actually become an item to pick up. And it's kind of weird. Oh, I can't jump when you're locked onto a target. There we go. I'd rather stay in first person view, but it doesn't allow me to. Alright, let's see how many stones I need for this portal. After this portal, this is like probably the only portal in the game that already has some blocks in it. So I need four. But all the rest of them, you need to fill in all six blocks. I've been waiting to play this game on my channel. There was something else I wanted to play on my channel. Maybe Minecraft. I do like Minecraft. I kind of miss that. I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. I got kind of bored of it about a couple of years ago. And on my old school Sundays, that's where I'm playing Dusk right now. It's not really family friendly, that game. It's a bit on the violent side and stuff, but those are the kind of games I enjoy. Old retro first person shooters. Doom and Quake and them. And uh, I'm playing Dusk right now in that, uh, that, that time slot. But, in the future, I kind of want to play some more uh, Torok. Because Night Dive Studios basically made those games playable on the PC. And they are pretty awesome. I are pushing I again. I'll never learn, guys. I'll never learn. Alright, so, one, two, three, four. And there we go. Did I, where'd they go? There they are. And I got plenty more for later on. Always carry your uh, portal blocks on you. And further you get, you'll have different colors. Alright. Well, portal is open. Oh, e again. It's a portal. Capable of teleporting you to other islands, such as this one. It's ancient made from very powerful magic it needs blue portal stones to activate it you can make them if you find enough blue portal stone shards once you have enough blue portal stones you are ready to put them inside the portal 
Sure. I have uh, seen only one person leave by way of this portal, and yet have not have yet to see th them return. Are you sure it's worth the risk? Well, if it wasn't, I wouldn't be playing a game. <laughs> uh, once we craft some more of those, see that uh, that's my problem. I should have made or waited to get this mission. Then make them. But hey, they'll come in, uh, come in handy later. Step through the portal to continue your adventure. But beware, make sure you are prepared for danger to come. Well, yeah, it's more dangerous. Further you go out, more dangerous it becomes. But now you're going to see these guys appear. These guys come through the portal. But they give you a lot more EXP, which you definitely need. Haha, <laughs> got them before you even got close enough. They gave me 110. What's this orange slime give? I uh, don't know. There it is. It came in kind of slow. Oh yeah, you don't get yeah, EXP straight from the enemy. You have to pick up those little yellow cubes. That's your EXP. Water is very useful for making potions later on. And slimes always drop water. Yeah, they're worth about 55, so... Yeah, these guys are a lot more powerful. They give you about 110, so they give you double the slime amount. And they do have spells. You gotta be careful of the spells. Ooh, 165 EXP. Oh, that is worth it. I'd rather, like, stay in first-person view for attacking and fighting and whatnot, but oh well. Not a big fan of third-person not unless it's overhead like in Diablo. I don't mind that. It works in that context, but in something like this. Especially if you have like a bow and arrow or a gun or anything as such. Oh well, yeah, level up. And I can't remember if the uh, EXP diminishes or like a diminishing returns as you keep farming the, the, the mobs. Let's go find out. There's a blue dude up there. Let's find one's closer. Come on, first person view. My bow needs to be fixed. Those I don't think gives you any EXP at all. The parrots. But they're passive so they don't attack you normally. It's up to you if you want to attack them. The only thing they drop is eggs. It's a food item. Well, that was a good attack. 49 or 39. Oh, what are you going to do, huh? huh, huh, huh? Alright, let's see if it's 100. 110 for that one. That one gave me 168. Hmm. Are there different levels of these enemies? Might just go ahead and go through the portal. I don't see why not. I do want to level up, though. It is an RPG. Alright, give me seven. Make some stairs. There we go. Ah, E again. I'm gonna just disable the E key. You could probably switch the. Like, customize your controls if you need to be. If you need to. Oh man, really? Yep, one thing that sucks about it. I'm not a big fan of. I like to be able to roll like a Dark Souls, but the problem is you can't jump if you're locked on. And trust me, I'd rather jump. What the heck you doing way out there, bro? Can I take you out? Yeah, a little higher. Higher. Uh-huh. You don't know what you're doing. So every time I hit him, I go out of my uh, first person view. Bam. Well, that was a good hit. I won't be able to pick up any EXP here, but... Come on, dude. Bad thing is, you gotta click in the third mouse button, which is the wheel, of course. Scroll wheel. Can't see what I'm shooting at. 
Uh, ain't worth it. All that waste of time. Already got the items down here, but see the chest has resealed. Let's go ahead and pick it up. And I push E again because I never learn. Why did they change the controls? E should be interact with objects, chests, whatever, people. I should be inventory. You know the usual. But I keep hitting key or E key on everything. Shift having roll is pretty, it's alright. Feels natural. Let's go. Achievement get. Traveler and Pledgling. Yay. Let's move on out. Let's see if we can find some copper. We definitely need the copper. Dusty Junction. Is it four? Yep, four. Repair tool. First person view. Don't hit E, please. Greetings. I am a friend. Spectral Knight, as we call ourselves. Once I protected Elysia from harm. Now, thanks to the Hollow King, I am but a shadow of his past. It is your destiny to succeed where I failed. Hone your skills, explore, survive. But be forewarned. Two great beasts stand between you and your destiny. Each can be reached only by a special portal unlocked by a unique totem. Yep, and I hit E key by accident. Yay, E key. The most problematic. Oh yeah, some copper right off the bat. Awesome. And some crystals. Fire gems, I think these are called. Flame ruby. Close enough, right? Dirt block, flame ruby, everything. Yeah. All right, some more copper. We'll get as much of this as possible, because everything requires it in the next level, not the next tier of upgrades. Mouse, what are you doing? Are you just trying to get in my way, huh? Don't make me unequip you. <laughs> It's like telling your kids, don't make me pull this thing over on a road trip or whatnot. But instead, it's the mouse. You get some cool pets later on. I think in the PS4 edition, I got a dragon, which is awesome. Okay, remember where I got the dragon from? I gotta be careful, there is new enemies here. They're probably gonna be a lot tougher than I am. So play smart. Alright, how much copper do I have? Uh, blah blah, there is 21. Nice. I think it's two nuggets become one bar. Oh yeah, I forgot to level up. How dare I? There we go. Get some extra health up in there. So you go from a lush green environment to a desert environment. I got lucky on the PS4 edition. And I found an island that had iron on it. But it was tough though, it had spiders and ghosts, and these spiders and ghosts were powerful. They would like two-shot me. But I've mined enough iron to upgrade and get me my next bow early on. And it came from one of those, uh, there's, it's a, uh, because this is an RPG and stuff, and I don't know what you consider it, a uh, mining, survival, open world game. But there's like, on the world map itself, where you see all the islands. There is a chance of an event appearing. And some of these events can give you some good stuff, but they can be pretty tough, though. If you go onto the world map, or the travel map, I'll show you guys in a minute after I click this. A little bit of crystal here. Make sure I'm not getting 
attacked by anything. Okay. So, if you look right here, if you look at this live one right here, you can see what kind of enemies here, here. You can see what kind of vegetables or vegetation you have. You got uh, different type of ore. And then you got different characters you can meet. And they'll say level 2 here, portal O of 1. So there's one portal in this uh, island itself. The max level is 2. So you got to make sure to look at all your... Uh, look at the map to make sure you're going to a place that you can handle. And if you can't, make sure to try to go somewhere else and level up a bit or get new tools or armor. <clears throat> right now I'm going after all this luscious copper need it all to alright sorry if I'm not too talkative my throat really hurts I've been complaining the last few days that I've been kind of sick feeling and yeah it all culminate, culminated down to today where it's all like a broke out to being a cold and you know my throat's all sore and hard to talk sometimes so don't mind the bad commentary trust me it's gonna get better I just have to get better first uh oh that sounded weird let's repair can I even make let's see if I can make those tools on the fly yes let's make a few of these or Let's see how many I can make. Ten of them. Awesome. So you can make those uh, stone repair tools on the field without using the workbench. That's awesome. But I do believe the later ones, the more expensive ones, do require a workbench or an anvil. <coughs> but having the stone ones at the beginning is still useful. It's a lot of stone on this thing. Is there like a secret hole here? Sorry, Cactus. You're gonna have to go. I remember on the PS4 one, there's like some of these that had a um, little dungeon or like a chest room in it. I'm not seeing anything right now, though. No, I've been lied to. All right, we got these are considered dungeons. They probably go underground. I'm not seeing any many enemies though. No, I'm not going to make the uh, warding stone on my uh, helm island. I'd rather keep the enemies there until I farm them to the point where when I get too high of a level, it's not going to matter no more. So I, then I can make it. But right now, it's still lucrative for me to keep the enemies spawning around my house. <coughs> because free EXP, and they're not too tough. But later on, they're going to become useless and just be in the way. So it'll be... No point after that. Oh. Whoa. I do believe there is fall damage in this game. That apparently was not high enough to cause fall damage. So there's just nothing here. There might be something underneath it though. I don't know why I'm collecting all these red ru uh, these flame rubies. I don't think I really need them for now. Not for a while. Kind of curious. Should I try to go under the underneath this? See what we can find. There's some red flame rubies, but so far not much else. And it's always good to check though. Oh, more copper. Awesome. I'll take all that. I should be able to build the anvil plus the uh block building or the furniture building table haha <laughs> if you hold down the mouse button or the uh, jump button all right see like here you see this is like two blocks high you can actually jump up two blocks high just barely oh yeah and just telegraph their shots so you can see they're about uh, when they're about to attack that means you can roll out of the way. If you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. It's pretty easy to dodge and it's very satisfying. There are certain enemies in the game that it was hard to dodge. 
I remember running to on the PS4 edition, I ran into some enemies that kicked my butt. That caused this magic that sucks the health out of you. And I couldn't do anything about it. And I couldn't dodge it for the burn either. Alright, this right here, you break these, you get mana mana bottles out of it. So let's break this. And you get a bottle. Manor. A manor. A manor bottle. A mana bottle. Okay, let's put down a block. Oh, new enemy. I didn't see how much EXP he even dropped. Uh, what'd you drop? What'd you drop? Oh, wow, almost 200. Awesome. Worth it. Alright, how much uh, uh, copper do I have? 51. That's definitely enough to build my tables. Don't know if it's enough to build a new set or like a new bow or a set of armor. We'll see though. Oh no, not worms. Not worms. And yeah, their fireballs can break the, the ground. So if you if you build on this island or any islands with those maggots in it. Be careful, they can destroy your structures. You just put down one of those warding stones and you should be just fine. And this stone right here, if you see this stone, and there's another type that you need. Right there, that stone right there. So this, like, cobblestone look, plus this stone down here that's around this uh, spawning pad and this stone. That's what you need for the warding stone. Oh, there's a portal over there. I see it. I seize it. Oh, I see you too. Come on, dude. Oh, you can't hit me because I know how to dodge. Oh, somebody talking to me over there. Gobbies. 120. All the adventure. What you want? A good day to you. There's treasure everywhere, but not so many places to spend it, thanks to the Hollow King. Look under the ruins if you're a bold enough. See, these are the ones I was talking about, the ones underneath the ruins. Oh, those are turtles right there. Now be careful of them. They don't do any projectiles or anything, but they're fast. There's the treasure. A little dark in here, though. So sorry if it's dark. I don't have any light sources. Not right now. Alright. And I hit E again. I'll never learn. That is the truth. There's some torches. And some bones. They'd always leave your chest because they refill if you leave. I can't stress that enough. I didn't know that until way too late. I rather kept the chest. I was breaking them for stone, thinking that if you open them, they were done. I mean, all right, turtles. See, turtles are harder to dodge because they can follow you. While they're doing their spinny spinny attack. There it is. What did you drop? A trophy? Shell trophy. Oh, Sorry you can't hit me. These, uh, these green dudes, if you hit them enough, they will start to run away from you. Alright, these runes, this... Yeah, that rune right there should have treasure underneath it and this right here is a mine so it's gonna be like a small dungeon worth investigating all right mine cart no that's just a box I thought it was a mine oh it is a mine cart never mind all right what do we got here mine closed keep it up not for me, man. Can't keep me out. Shh. 
Should have drank a cup of coffee before I started recording. Feel like I'm just out of energy. And that's not good for a Let's Player or a YouTuber in general. You want to be energetic and all fun. But when you're sick, you just don't have any fun left in you at the moment. Oh, I'm having fun though. I love this game. It's pretty fun. It's awesome. Hey, loot. Hey, loot. You're on my loot. Oh, yeah. Free EXP. A little bit of mana, which I do not need. Being a sweet level 4. Being a uh, rogue or a ranged character. There's a magician you can play in this game. But the Magician, I've never tried it yet. I might in the future. But my favorite is the Rogue. At the moment. But yeah, it's probably a good idea because every character starts with mana or a mana pool. And get a, uh, when you get the... Man, what's that table called? The Enchanting Table. Duh. You get that table, you can make yourself a healing spell. It doesn't work. It's not like the best in the game. But it will probably save your life in a harrowing situation. So it's a good idea to build said spell. Which requires crystals. Just like these. But there's like different types, different colors. And further you go out, more expensive the crystal becomes. <clears throat> Therefore, it'll be for more expensive spells or whatnot. Alright, I might head back to home after we get this co copper here. I want to see if I can build the next set of tools. Oh man, I see what happened. My pick was broke. I didn't even, there was like no indication saying, hey, your pick just broke. Didn't even know. Is there something under here? Anything at all? Yes. Yes, there is. A little dark down here, but hey. Give me all the loot. Well, he gave me some copper. Sweet. And sharpening stones times five. I got 15. Oh, man. I felt like I need to blow my nose. So sorry about that. If you've had a cold or any kind of sickness of any type, you know what I'm going through. That's pretty much everybody in this world. It's awful. Awful, I tell you. So what I'm going to do is go to the map. Then you go back to the Squires and all. Travel. Now we're going to be right back too. So I want to go to that mine and see what we can find down there. Sometimes you can find armor pieces and special weapons hidden in chests and whatnot. But I don't think I have enough power to take down stuff in that mine. My best probably gonna be like level three. No slime. Three hits. All right, head back into here. What does it cost to do? Uh, oh, I need coal, don't I? So I can't even make the copper. I can make the benches, but not the actual tools. Well, that sucks. Well, dang it. I need uh, coal. If you look here, wood bow, well, this stuff doesn't tell you anything. Never mind, I have to build the next table. Which I would like to have an archer station. Alchemy table will probably be useful, but I need the uh, anvil. So let's see if we can build it. A ten. Kind of expensive, aren't you? Bro. I like to build a chest, but I can hold on that for a bit. Oh, the altar. It's not the enchanting, it's the altar. This allows you to build spells. Already got a furnace. Let's look at the furnace here. So if I look here. Alright. Where's copper? Ah. Uh, 
I'm still on the workbench. There we go. Basalt, okay. And to make a copper bar, you need coal. So I gotta move on to get coal. But let's put down the other stations real fast. Get rid of this stuff. Let's put the anvil next to the workbench area. And this thing is big too. Can I put it there? No. It has to sit out a little bit. Man, that's gonna bug me. <coughs> Alright. Boom. E again, like usual. Alright, so I can make a copper masterwork, which costs scales. But the damage is 47. Character level 6. Critical strike chance 12. Crow, copper crossbow. Slingshot. I don't got scales though. This requires. It's all it misses. And missing is these two bars, but it's only 25 damage. Don't know if I really want to use that. Kind of want to work towards this master work. Which is a lot more damage compared to 25. What about armor? Alright, so use uh, usage requires character level 2, critical strike chance 3, health 20, health 20, and health 30. Double jump? Ooh, double jump. That's useful. So I need cotton cloth, I need amber, and 1, 2, 3, 4 bars. Four copper bars. I still got 70, so I've got plenty. Well, let's go back to this world. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. And the video is almost, I'm almost out of time. we got plenty of time to probably do that mine. Then we'll probably end the episode. ghost guy. He's going to make a noise when I walk by him. Yeah. Yeah. That noise. <laughs> I don't dare try to do that that breathy sound with my voice. Probably go into a coughing fit in the last 30 minutes. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, it bounces. Nice. What do you drop? Ooh, a fireball scroll. Nice. Get out of the ground, dude. Wow, that was easy. Yep. If you go to worlds like this, the nighttime will have new enemies, as you see. Oh, that's the uh, mine way over there. Oh, this guy's got a quest. Oh, he wants pants. Don't know if I can give you pants though. I don't have a working workbench. Or uh, anvil. It appears I lost my squire's leggings whilst running. Er, fighting monsters in the runes. Would you be a sport and make me a new pair? Sure. Then my dignity shall be restored. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Palm tree, cactuses, and the mine is literally on the other side of the map. We got ourselves a quest to do. I could do the uh, quest later on. I think it's like what I'm wearing right now. The regular squire stuff, which required cloth. Just regular cloth, not metal. Oh, hi. Uh-huh. Just be careful those fireballs do bounce, so if you have a wall behind you and you're trying to dodge, most likely you will, go and you will get hit by the fireball from behind. So be careful of that. It's worth all the XP though. Oh, I just got hit. My dodge skills ran out. No more dodging. Get out of the ground. Oh, 
Always draw, try to dodge sideways when it comes to these guys. Alright, oh. Should I go ahead and repair said portal? Yes, why not? We already got four of these, so let's put them in there. There we go. And let's build a two more. One and two. One and two and one and two. Apparently, I'm, uh, I'm thinking I'm a uh, workout instructor. Alright. Now, I like to go in first person view because you have to try to get down here without causing too much damage to yourself because there is fall damage. And that much of a fall will give you some damage. Alright. Oh, these guys explode. So those bats, or those uh, one-eyed bat dudes, make sure to kill them as quickly as possible before they get too close. If they get too close, then they blow up on you. That's something you don't want to happen. Skelly! Uh -huh, I rolled right through him. Only hearts. Alright, more bags to break open. And uh, if you watched my first episode, you know that these barrels and boxes, crates and whatnot, will give you blocks. Don't give you any money, EXP, or mana orbs. It's only blocks. So I usually leave them behind. Well, that's scary. If you just look into the dark, you just see this chest. What you gonna give me? Money, 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 money. What are those? Mini, uh, mini bomb? Nice. Mini bomb. Okay, even in my own head right now when I'm talking, because you can hear yourself talk, I sound awful. Well, worse than I usually do. <laughs> Alright, I guess that was the end of that. And if you're, if you're done inside of a mine, there's another mana bottle or a flask or potion if you need it. Another one there. If you're done inside of a mine, you can either build your way up, which takes more time, or you can go into the map and then hit this. Return to the landing pad. Takes you back to where you start the area at. Boom. Done. Alright, well. We got some done, we found some copper. We made some new workbenches, a anvil. I just need to find copper, which I know, or actually I need to find coal. In the next world, I think is where you're gonna find coal. And it's a town too, so you can sell sell goods there. You're a block, you, you knew that cactus was there and tried to block yourself from it. You know what I would like to see is if the enemy shoots a fireball and then the fireball bounces back and hits themselves. Now that would be hilarious. I don't think that's how it works. Hey Grunt. You get their health low enough they start trying to run away from you so. Well. I might play this a little bit off camera, not earning new things, just maybe to level up a bit. I like I, I like to over level instead of under level. Most people don't like that because oh, it destroys the challenge. But Pete, me personally, I've been playing RPGs a long time. I'd rather stay above the enemy's level than below. So, all right, we got the portal made. The new portal is ready. For the next world so that'll be the next episode we'll be going there hopefully there'll be coal there we explored the uh, mine we explored some of this world got copper made workbenches explained a few things and from the developers themselves i got myself a bee hat <laughs> he looks silly all right guys well if you I enjoyed my content and you want more make sure to subscribe because I upload daily, so there's always new stuff to watch. And if you like my commentary, even though I'm sick, 
keep that in mind. Hit that like button to show you support. And uh, if you did like my commentary, still hit that like button because I'm still learning this. I'm still a greenhorn when it comes to YouTube. Uh, it's always a learning process every day. And next to that sub subscribe button, you'll see a uh, bell icon. You hit that bell icon, you'll be part of the Meerkat Nation mo notification squad. And when you get that, you'll never miss any of my awesome content and all of my awesome adventures. So make sure to hit that uh, that notification button so you're going to always be on my awesome adventures, if that makes any sense. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.